Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ultimate Team of the Season is changing. We've got a new car design and a lot of crazy leaks and news to talk about for this upcoming promo of Ultimate Team of the Season that's actually a combination of two different things, Ultimate Team of the Season and the award winners. That is the car design that's on the loading screen. I want to take a look at the leaks and news and all of the uncertainty surrounding what in the world this promo is going to look like on Friday. We've also got a market with prices that are crashing because of this content and everything that's leaked. And we can't look over what's happening today on this game. We've got a brand new season. Are we going to get new season swaps, new weekend league rewards? So much going on in this game right now. We're going to try to cover it all today in this video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Before we get into all the craziness of what's upcoming, let's quickly look back at yesterday because yesterday we did have some decent content and especially looking forward into tomorrow in this new promo, there's some packs that were dropped that we probably should be looking to save. First of all, we have the Syria Team of the Season upgrade pack, 100,000 coins. Guys, from opening a bunch of these on stream yesterday, this might have been the best value and the best chance out of all of the TOTS upgrade packs from the major five leagues. This one felt like it was giving out the best, in my opinion. We saw a lot of people yesterday packing uh, guys like Lautaro, a lot of Quadrado. Uh, we saw a decent amount of Di Maria's as well, Tomori's, and again, with the SPC value being 80, 90,000 coins, Yes, there are a lot of cheap cards in this team, but they're also really cracked. So I feel like the pack yesterday was actually pretty solid uh, because the weight was kind of decent on it. Not super crazy, but again, that's kind of what we expect with those guaranteed SBCs. You get a chance at somebody big. Most times you don't get somebody big, but you at least get a chance at it for a cheap price. So that was a dub. And then the 86 plus double upgrade. Guys, this one, we can do three times per day and it's going to refresh again today on thursday we're going to be able to do it three more times and this is really making fodder move i think it's going to make fodder move even more today on thursday as people can redo this sbc again three more times today on thursday so we're going to take a look at fodder in a second uh, but those were basically the two sbcs that we had yesterday on this game. There was a kit SBC as well, but let's talk about this fodder just really quick because there's so much to talk about throughout the rest of this video. This is an 84 rated squad requirement for this 86 plus double that you can do again three times. Take a look at 83s from 1.6K all the way to 2.6. Guys, these are not gonna stop. They might drop a little bit today with Rivals Rewards, supplying them a little bit tradable um, onto the market as some people still uh, take the tradable rewards, but these card prices are probably gonna to go up further today because people are going to be doing this SBC again at content. So I would watch your 82s, 83s, and 84s, and also your 85s. They might be going up a bit more today. Now, also as a part of today, we've got another big SBC refreshing. We got to talk about that 90 plus icon player pick and a little bit later how the fodder might be impacted today by that. So we're going to revisit fodder in a second, but make sure you've got enough low rated, low tier fodder because these cards are probably just going to go up after what we are going to see today on this game. So we saw the loading screen. Let's move into today's content and all that's going on with this award winner, new car design, ultimate team of the season. What in the world is going on? with this promo, right? Yesterday, it all started off before the loading screen even dropped. It started off with this leak right here from FIFA U Team, our kind of new trusted source on Twitter for a lot of leaks. Foot Sheriff as well was chipping in with some info on this yesterday, but this was the first post. Award winner items will be released, most likely in packs this Friday. And they say that there are going to be three different players from each league of the top five leagues right so the efigs leagues three players from each league and we are going to be seeing a golden glove so a goalkeeper golden striker so a golden boot winner and the mvp player from that league all three of those are going to be represented for one league and uh, that means 15 cards right with this card design that is on the loading screen now if you take a look at this card design it kind of looks familiar doesn't it because it's exactly the same as the team of the season card design just with a different color variant color variation with the neon and kind of that purple color in there it's uh yes very similar to the award winner designs that we have had in years past but Again, still very different um, as well. So that's kind of what this is like. It looks like we're going to have 15 players coming into packs uh, on Friday tomorrow. Now, the real question is, 
is that's all is that all the cards that we're gonna have in packs is it just gonna be those 15 and, and that's it well I, I don't think that's the case I think especially because of what we've known before about ultimate team of the season there are going to be more cards in packs and I'll touch on that here in just a second now the first thing and first question I have is some of these leaks are shown here with stats that are the same as team of the season cards and some of them like foot sheriff are showing are higher rated than team of the season cards right Erling Holland team of the season, 97 rated, 97 um, for Mbappe as well. You got a 96 Cavaro Dona in the game. You got a 97 Oshiman. Now his post here, a foot sheriff, is showing cards that are one rating above those cards that are in the game. This is the biggest thing for me that really makes a difference for the market and for the hype of this promo. I feel like our expectations here are a little bit high with these leaks, guys. With all of these award winner type cards before, if you take a look at the 99 Kevin De Bruyne that was dropped in FIFA 20, which was one of the last times that we had an award winner type card, it was the exact same rating as the team of the season. I am expecting, and that was some of the leaks that FIFA U team said as well, I'm expecting these award winner cards to be released with the same stats as their team of the season counterparts. I'm not expecting a ratings boost. Now, could they get ratings boost? They could. And if they are, then that's going to be very exciting and very hype. And that's going to impact the market in a whole different way than if they are the same as the team of the seasons. But I'm going to set my expectations because that's how it's been done before. And if you think about ultimate team of the season, that's usually what ultimate team of the season is about, right? It's the same TOTS cards that we have had during the entirety of team of the season re-released with, um, you know, a bunch of other ones back into packs. And it's not about new cards coming out. It's a re-release of the same cards um, and their prices drop down. And it's kind of like, hey, here's our chance to pack the biggest and the best of team of the season. So I'm expecting the ratings to be the same. But again, a lot of these guys that are going to be ending up getting into this award winners promo have already got TOTS cards as well. So that's going to be very easy for EA, right? This is a list of cards here that we should see because um, Cavaro Donut, Lewandowski, Bellingham, Holland, and Mbappe, those are all of the MVPs, right, of this list. Those are all the MVP players from the top five leagues. And then um, Osimhen's included in this list because he was the top goal scorer in the Serie A. Now, all of these have TOTS cards already. But for some of those guys that do not, like uh, Flecken, I think, has the most clean sheets in the Bundesliga. Liga, as it is leaked here, we're supposed to be getting a goalkeeper from each league. He does not have a TOTS card, so he should be getting an award winner's item that would basically be a TOTS card. So that's kind of the confusion right now with are the players going to be the same rating? Are they going to be higher rated? We really don't know, but I'm assuming that they're going to be the same. Now, we actually do have our first official player leak um, of who's going to be in here besides that list of players right there. Ter Stegen, obviously, if it's going to be the top clean sheets from each league, Ter Stegen had the most clean sheets in La Liga this season. So he is going to be getting a card. So it's kind of like, it's like leaks, but yes, we also know who it's going to be based off of this kind of like leaked criteria here. Um, so you can kind of go do the math and figure out who's going to get in for each of those different things. Uh, it's kind of interesting for like the Bundesliga for top goal scorer. Are they going to do full Krug or are they going to do Nkunku? Because both those guys had 16 goals on the year. That sort of thing is where some of it's going to be left up for debate and we'll see what EA do. But that is what it looks to be the premise of this award winners part of the promo. Now, as I said before, I think this is kind of a two part thing here. I still think we're going to have an ultimate tots aspect of it and I still think we're going to have some of these players who are not going to get the award winner items I think there's going to be regular tots cards in packs as well because if you think of it only 15 cards in packs would be kind of a letdown because we've had more than that for all of these other team of the season releases you think about all the pack the cards and packs that we have right now for the top leagues I think we get 18 just about every single week or 17 or 18 tots cards just about every single week in the releases so um we know we would like to see a few more and ultimate tots of years past if you look back at last year's team we had like 23 cards we had a full squad a lot of higher rated cards in here but also a good amount of lower rated ones in there for like pack filler like trend um mike non was super packable last year during ultimate team of the season it was like annoying to pack him um kimmich was annoyingly packable for a high rated card ruben diaz was really packable as well he ended up being really cheap cool bali right i feel like there's still 
still going to be, I, I know there's going to be goalkeepers in packs as well, so those will be really packable, but I still think there's going to be a mixture of some Team of the Season cards re-released back in packs for this promo as well, uh, but that's really one thing that I think we could find out today through leaks, through the loading screen and stuff like that. That's sort of news that I'm waiting to see confirmed, so I wouldn't go too crazy on it yet or like think it's going to happen or maybe not going to happen. Why is Dybala... Uh, this expensive 1.19. He has got a crazy high price right now. That's crazy, actually. He was 1 million coins yesterday. Now he's 1.2 mil. War arise. Uh, but that's kind of all that we know about this award winners promo, guys. They're going to be in packs. Very same as the very same ratings, we believe, as the Todd's cards. Very same card design. Just a little bit different but hopefully we learn some more today um, because a lot of what yesterday was was just confusion with all the leaks and the car designs and stuff it looks really hype and it looks really cool and i'm definitely excited for it um but i'm i want to know more I, I need to know more so a couple other things right the re one of the reasons why i think it's not just going to be um the award winner cards in packs and there's going to be other stuff going on is i think what this promo is going to fit under the umbrella of if you will is i think it's still going to be called ultimate team of the season where there's going to be specific award winners in packs along with or as a part of the ultimate team of the season because as a part of tots weekend league rewards we have ultimate tots this is a official list from ea about the rewards and how it's going to work ultimate tots are in weekend league rewards this weekend right we've seen the pack code we've talked about that the market started to drop because everybody expects some insane crazy madness because of that I think we're going to have Ultimate Tots cards and rewards, and that could include the award winners, which are inside of Ultimate Tots, right? And that's a big thing we have to watch out for today on this game is the reset of the, the rewards that are in Foot Champs. Guys, the, the awards that are in there right now um, that show like three Team of the Week packs for Rank 1, those are the old rewards that were pre-Team of the Season. Don't look at those. I don't think those are um, real. I would say after we get the reset today of the season, we should see the actual changed rewards for what they're going to be going forward for this next week. So we'll talk about that a little bit more when we talk about today's content. But let's talk about the market as well. We're getting these award winner cards, which I was just checking to see, did they drop a car design for this yet? I don't see a, a, a car design here, even though it's been added to the code. All we still have is the team of the season card. I don't see anything under A for like award winner, but that is the official name uh, of the promo. Guys, prices continue to drop off loads in this game as people are scared for the re-release of these guys back into packs. And of course, for the award winner cards getting released on the market. If you think about it, right? If we're going to get an Erling Holland award winner card, which in my opinion, that card looks insane compared to the one that he's already got. Um, Hurling Holland was down to 2.3 mil yesterday. I picked one up, sold it for about 2.6, so made some coins off of that. But if there's going to be a new version on the market that's going to get supplied, it's going to be the same rating, same dynamic image and stats as this team of the season card, I would imagine that this card may have a bounce right away if the new one's super duper expensive. But both of those cards should probably end up being around the same price. And therefore, with two of the same card on the market, probably driving the price down a little bit lower as well and i still think guys we're in the end game right this is the time of the year where prices start to get cheaper anyway just because it's towards the end of the year uh people are losing their coins from doing the upgrade packs and the guys just get packed and packed and packed and it's the summertime on fifa right what happens during the summertime prices get absolutely destroyed everybody can afford all the crazy insane cards after like the next month or so so here's what i'll tell you Yes, I expect prices to drop. Yes, this weekend, though, there's going to be a lot of demand for a weekend league. So I'm not saying that you have to sell everything and not buy it for two weeks while prices drop. There could be a couple of fluctuations this weekend where a guy like Jude Bellingham, who was 2.7 mil and is now back up over 3 mil, goes back down to like 2.2 or something, but then has a rise back into the 2 point high mil range, 2.7, 2.8 mil on that expensive tier. Because with the rewards that you might be able to get, these award winners, cards these ultimate team of the season cards in packs there is going to be a lot of hype for weekly demand for playing games and all of that stuff so that being said i still think there is some life in this market this weekend i'm just going to be very careful and probably not holding cards for a really long time but if you see some really big drop-offs again continuing 
uh, on the market today. Maybe there's an opportunity there for you to pick up a card that you want to use for this weekend league before we actually get to Friday afternoon, Friday night when weekend league is about to open. There might be some low prices in the panic leading up until then. But that's a little bit risky. I'm probably just going to wait until Friday anyways myself. But hopefully we learn more today again about what this promo looks like through loading screens, through EA tweets, through leaks, so that we can kind of get a grip on how we think it might impact the market this weekend. But of course, the panic selling has been crazy so far, and it's probably going to continue even into today on Thursday as we get closer to the Friday promo hype. Now let's talk about today, right? Everything's looking forward towards Friday already, right? But there's a lot that we can learn today, especially with the new season rewards that are going to be dropping on this game, right? If you go into foot champs right now, I mean, this is honestly even bigger for me than the season reset. I just want to see what these rewards are going to be because I'm so curious as to what EA is going to do in here. If they're going to set up the rewards from now until the rest of the summer, or if this is just going to be for the last week of TOTS, and then they're going to change them next week after Team of the Season ends, and we go into Shape Shifters, right? Watch the rewards part of this game today, because we should, again, like we said, have Ultimate Team of the Season and League of Portugal cards in rewards, but then going forward, who really knows? Foot Sheriff was talking about this yesterday, and this is kind of where everybody was going at him and saying, I, he says that I didn't think we were going to have Ultimate Tots. So it just, I think it's still going to be called Ultimate Tots because that's what EA have called it on their website. It just is going to like look different. And that's why it just kind of, like we said in the title of this video, Ultimate Tots is, is changing. It's different this year. Now with the season refreshing, that's a leak that we have upcoming. End of an era for Mino, right? We talk about all these end of an era cards that are going to be coming out. Starting tomorrow and Friday, we're going to get more of these cards. Milner and Firmino are now confirmed to be end of an era cards. That's content that's going to be coming in this next week. With the season refreshing, we have a couple packs added to the code. And if you guys remember, at the start of this last season, which was pretty crazy, there was a really big market drop off and a lot of panic on prices on this market because of all the insane rewards that we had in TOTS season swaps. Now, I don't imagine it's going to be as crazy as the last season, but we might see some of this and some of these packs that have been added to the code inside of the season rewards today. Specifically, this 85 times 25 pack that just screams uh, like some sort of swaps rewards. The shapeshifters pack could also be a part of it. I mean, the only reason I feel like these may have been added to the code, apart from rest of the world, the tots player pack, I think those are going to be tots cards to drop on Sunday on this game. But I think these two, the shapeshifter pack and the 85 times 25, we'll look out for these today in the season progress as it resets. Um, I wonder if they'll do the same thing again where you have the option between a player, the option between a pack, uh, or a player pick, right? That was the really big hype part about rewards and the season swaps uh, on this game with this last set. So I just don't know if they're gonna do swaps again with XP or if they're gonna go back to a normal season and not have a swaps program. That is something we'll be looking out for today. There's a lot to look out for there. Um, and also, if you're you know grinding those last little bit of swaps right before the season ends, good luck. Get that level 30 pack or pick claimed and opened. Man, I did my player pick yesterday, guys, and it was bad. I chose Reese James out of the player pick. It was horrendous. So W player pick at the beginning, level 20, level 30 player pick was not good. So also player picks don't have to be added to the code. So there could be more of those in the season swaps today. We will have to see, but I'm not expecting as big of a market crash because of that specifically, because I don't think it's going to be as massive this time around. Also for today, last day to stack up and stock up on some SBCs for the upcoming promo. If you want to stock up on those 86 doubles, the 84 times five, 80 plus player picks might be a good shout as well with the award winners and with the TOTS ultimate going to be likely impacts on Friday, whatever that situation looks like. 80 plus player picks were not very good for Serie A TOTS, but hey, who knows? They might be good to stock up on for this weekend. At least give yourself a shot at packing some of those cards, but specifically that 86 times two and the 84 times five would be really good to stock up on. And today's content, I mean, nobody's talking about this and everybody's kind of forgetting about it, but... The 90 plus icon player pick SBC, unless EA have changed the timer, is supposed to refresh today on this game. It seems weird for it to refresh on Thursday, but that is the case. 
and that is probably going to impact some fodder some more on the middle to high tier. And guys, if you've already invested, you're feeling good. If 88s go back down below like 16K, I'm talking if 88s are like 15,000 coins, guys, I think that's a good value buy. I mean, they have they were 15K for a bit yesterday, and they've been creeping upwards to 16K, 16.5 right now for all these 88s. I think if you see 15K under 16 at all, that's a good snag. 89s and the low, like 20K flat's probably good. 87s. Under 12 are probably good, or at 12K. 86s under 10 are probably good as well. Um, guys, fodder just looks like it's about to take off and, and go to the moon, right? With all the SBC demand that we have, yes, EA could do something to make that change. But if you take a look at Team of the Season cards, the cheapest TOTS cards, we were talking about it last night's video. The cheapest TOTS cards were, what, 23,000 coins then? They are now 28,000 coins. And guys, they don't show signs of stopping just yet they're probably going to continue to go up so i mean yes you could buy at this at this rate at this price but they're probably just going to keep going up even though it already seems so expensive from their absolute lowest they were like 18k they're up 10 000 coins a card but this is why we really heavily looked into that investment earlier this last weekend because we really knew those prices were too cheap and they're still getting required in the SBCs. Now, I haven't looked at any of these 87 rated informs. Anderson Taliska is kind of the guy that we always look at. How much are 87 rated informs right now? 18K for these as well. So these are starting to go up. Informs on the market in general starting to rise. So that fodder investment is looking really, really good. All informs are about 12K still as it looks, but the higher rated ones continue to rise. Today's going to be a day where fodder goes up even further. And again, that's going to drain a lot of coins off this market. And that's just another factor with all the content that we have upcoming that makes me just not love buying prices, buying cards for these certain prices right now in this game. I need to see some bigger drops. I need to see price prices continue to go down before I feel a little bit more comfortable, especially if it's buying for your team with all the content that we have upcoming and the last thing we kind of have is that uh player sbc for today right kiesa cordoba could any of those that were leaked even eusebio right we're talking about these leaks and stuff um could any of those players be a part of the season rewards today i feel like that's potentially going to happen as well uh wow cordoba has exploded in price because he did not get dropped as an sbc as, as of right now maybe he's going to be in the season uh rewards today maybe that kiesa card would be in as a part of the seasons who knows um those are some players that have been leaked to come as sbcs but maybe that's been changed and those leaks are just um different now who knows um but a Kiesa SBC could still be coming today. We only had a Milinkovic, Savage, and Labotka so far for Serie A. Hopefully, we'd have one more player SBC, but I really do not know. So today's a crazy day, guys. So much going on in this game. All of the craziness of the new season, the content, the preparation for this award winner's promo. I'm so excited to see what happens today in terms of leaks, in terms of news, in terms of information about this award winner's promo because it seems really exciting at the same time as it also seems like hmm, if it's just going to be a re-release and maybe a couple new cards with just a different card design what's going to make this promo be a little bit just different to stick out and if they're not going to upgrade the ratings on some of these guys from the team of the seasons then ea's got to do more stuff with cards in packs as well if it's only going to be 15 cards in packs it's going to be a big l so we just have a lot to think about right now we'll probably get a lot more confirmed today i'm so excited for that if you want to learn and talk about it more in the twitch stream today that link is down below in the description but if this video helped you out at all today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions as well and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys on twitch stream today for a crazy thursday with a lot to talk about it's been Nathan the foot account i'll see you guys there peace